Inside the Haunting History of Spirit Photography In one of the most famous instances of spirit photography, American photographer William Mumler captured Abraham Lincoln standing behind his wife, Mary Todd. But showman P.T. Barnum proved it to be a fake by recreating the image. Medium Charles Foster poses for a portrait taken by spiritualist Emma Hardinge Britton. A ghostly image drapes itself over his shoulders. Circa 1884. In a photo taken by British spirit photographer Frederick Augustus Hudson, a woman sits with her head bowed. In front of her is allegedly the ghostly image of her deceased daughter. Circa 1872. Here, Hudson captures a spirit hovering in the upper right-hand corner of the frame. Circa 1870. This photograph, possibly by Hudson, shows a ghostly figure sitting between two men. Circa 1872. This Hudson photo shows British medium Georgiana Houghton with her deceased aunt. Circa 1872. This 1893 photo by spirit photographer Robert Bursnell allegedly shows a deceased family doctor standing to the left of the two subjects. In this self-portrait, taken circa 1902, Bursnell poses with spirits that gather en masse to his left. This photo shows Alfred Russell Wallace, a British naturalist, with the ghostly form of his mother. This image appears to show the deceased mother of the subject, William Turkettine, 1873. This series of four photographs appears to capture a spirit moving about, 1872. Born in the British Commonwealth, Edward Wiley had a long career as a spirit photographer. Here, he's added the subject's deceased wife and mother to the photograph, as well as a message that reads, I am so glad thee have gotten the light at last and that thou art so happy. This photograph shows a man named Raby Wooten surrounded by three ghostly figures. Circa 1875. On the back of the photo, Someone has noted in ink that Wooten arranged the photos after being told to do so in a seance. The gentlemen operated themselves without allowing Hudson to take any part. The result was exactly as the spirits had told beforehand it would be. It identifies the three spirits as Countess, James Lombard, and Tommy. This blurry photo taken by British artist and spiritualist Georgiana Houghton, shows a man sitting with a very solid-looking spirit hovering over him. 1882 The fascination with spirit photography stretched across the English Channel to France. According to English medium Stainton Moses, this 1874 photo by Edouard Isidore Buget is one of the most important spirit photographs ever. Allegedly it shows, Mons. Les Marie and Mons. C. with spirit of Edouard Poiret. Poiret was a friend of the two subjects who died twelve years earlier. Buget was later exposed as a fraud, but many spiritualists, including Moses, stood by his side. Though Buget initially confessed, he later recanted and claimed that most of his photographs were genuine. F. M. Parks, one of the earliest spirit photographers in Victorian England, claimed that he listened to spirits as he worked. In this photo by Parks, a woman identified as Ms. Collins sits with the spirit of her deceased father-in-law in 1875. Her husband had some doubts about the image, writing, although it certainly is very like, my father, there are one or two discrepancies. Nevertheless, he added, I must say that I consider spirit photography the most interesting and truthful manifestation we have yet been blessed with.